I'm Zach Schildhorn, partner at Lux Capital, a $2.4 billion venture firm that invests in science and technology ventures at the outermost edges of what's possible. Through my experience at Lux, I've learned that perhaps the single most important element in creating company value isn't tech or talent or tenacity, but simply a good story. Let me explain. I started in this business with an engineering background. My education taught a deterministic view of the world. The ecosystem of tech startups is a meritocracy, and the best technologies should win. But that education failed to predict the realities of a marketplace. Over the course of more than a decade, I've watched startups raise tens of millions off little more than an idea. I've been there to see people raise hundreds of millions without a single slide. And I've witnessed founders with amazing technologies, great plans, and fast-growing businesses struggle to raise meaningful dollars. And what I've really come to appreciate over this time is that often the difference between success and failure is the incredible power of a great narrative. It's also one of the key things we look for as investors, especially for companies that intend to push the boundaries of the possible. Every day, tens of millions of dollars are allocated primarily based on the feeling a group of people get after hearing a story. Just think about that for a second. It almost seems insane, yet I know it to be true because we've all watched it happen in public and I've witnessed it privately within my own partnership. What makes stories so powerful is that they tap into something that makes us deeply human. They span cultures and history. They are the root of our most enduring human institutions and the basis for some of our greatest accomplishments. Stories are how we share ideas and coordinate action, and we as humans are uniquely evolved to respond to them. Even when our bodies go to sleep, the mind stays up all night just telling itself stories. Now, most people think that storytelling is all about fundraising, but I believe the power of your narrative is critical to nearly every aspect of building a company, recruiting great talent, aligning people around a common vision, communicating with public audiences, and winning over customers and partners. It's a skill that deserves your time and attention. So, how do you tell a great story? After hearing thousands of pitches and working with many successful companies, I'm going to share three essential maxims for engaging narrative, and for each, give examples to help inspire you. Your number one goal for any story is to figure out how to make someone care. The scale of your success is limited by your ability to get other people to do something for you, to write a check, to accept an offer, to become a customer, to sign a deal. The best motivator is to make someone care. That means understanding and appealing to their interest. Let's start with investors. How do you make an investor care? Well, that's easy. Make them feel like they're going to make money by being a part of something special and sizable. I'll share an example from Lux company Matterport. Matterport makes cameras and software to 3D scan interior spaces. That's the description of what they do. But that's not how the founders started the story when they first came to pitch Lux. Instead, here's what they said. In most people's lives, the biggest financial decisions they'll ever make revolve around a home. Homes and buildings are one of the largest insured asset classes on the planet. And there's this whole other multi-trillion dollar industry called travel that relies almost entirely on providing spaces for people to stay. Yet our best tools to understand all of these spaces are flat floor plans and photographs. Matterport is enabling a future where you can share, assess, and experience spaces in a way that's even better than being there. So how did they make an investor care? Well, they started simply with the scale of the opportunity. You could almost see the dollars at stake with hardly the mention of a market size. They also made it relatable. Most investors have experience buying or renting a house. They made investors care. I'm going to switch from small startups to the big screen for a minute, just to reinforce this point about making people care. A recent film called The Game Changers was created with a single audacious goal. Get American men to eat less meat. That is no easy feat. Countless documentaries have extolled the environmental and animal welfare benefits of plant-based diets to little effect. But The Game Changers did something different. It appealed not to the ideals of men, but their self-interest featuring champion vegan athletes and persuading with the personal benefits of eating plants, strength, health, virility. It worked. The film has been viewed by tens of millions of people, many of whom have changed their diets as a direct result. The Game Changers movie not only makes men care, but also made a complex topic captivating by challenging people's assumptions and sharing novel examples. And this brings me to the second maxim. 
make someone care, and make it interesting. Great narratives stir curiosity. They build ideas piece by piece and let the audience do the work of putting those pieces together. The best storytellers rewire someone's brain just a little bit by presenting an idea that challenges their mental framework of a market. This is Fred Moll, founder of Lux company Aurus. Early in the company's life, Fred had the challenge of fundraising without yet knowing exactly what products the company was going to bring to market. Yet Fred had a very clear understanding of why the company existed and framed his thesis in an original way that forced you to pay attention. It's often said that a surgeon's greatest capability is manual dexterity or technique in the operating room. I think increasingly the idea that you judge a surgeon by the technique is probably going to go away because the technique will be handled by a machine. As surgery continues along its inevitable path towards minimally invasive procedures, the tools will need to advance beyond any surgeon's ability to manually control them. And thus performing surgery in the future will look a lot like playing a video game. The ultimate realization of that idea is exactly what Aura set out to build. And turns out Fred and his team were convincing in this vision. The company was acquired last year by Johnson & Johnson for up to $6 billion. On to the final maxim. Make it human. I think of our entrepreneurs like superheroes. They push the limits of reason and reality to make life-changing advancements real. But what makes superheroes appealing is their human relatability. That includes their strengths, weaknesses, triumphs, and challenges. Superman just wouldn't be interesting if there was no kryptonite. You want to connect with people on an emotional level to help build trust and credibility. The more someone trusts you, the more likely they are to believe you. Humanity can be expressed through humor, a personal story, empathy for customers, but that human connection is critical to make someone want to hear your message. Here's a unique example from a recent Lux investment called Caper. Founders often feel a need to project overconfidence, but actually vulnerability can be one of the best ways to build credibility. Lyndon and Ahmed are two of the founders of Caper. They're building a connected smart cart for grocery retail. And when they came to talk to the Lux team, they started their story in a way that might surprise you. They spoke about their failure. After graduating Y Combinator, their first retail idea completely flopped. But they learned a lot from that failure, which radically changed their product idea and approach to market. But this presented a problem, because they had hardly any money left. So they cut burn to less than 10000 a month by living in a house together, cooking all their own food, and traveling as cheaply as possible so they could get a prototype to deliver to their first customer. Now this wasn't something they were necessarily proud of, but the story was important because it made us trust the team. It told us a lot about their resolve and helped us see the world the way they did. So here are your three essential maxims for engaging narrative. Make it matter for your audience by appealing to their interest. Present something original and noteworthy and figure out how to make a human connection. And remember, these are guidelines, not guardrails. Storytelling is an art, not a science. And while there are plenty of recommendations out there, there are no rules, so make it your own. Thanks for watching, and keep an eye out for next time when I'll share the three most common mistakes founders make when crafting their stories. <laughs>